the hell are they thinking? What's up guys, welcome to Riding Free. If you are new here, I'm Chef. I am a red, white, and blue-blooded American. And today we're going to talk about the Harley Davidson going woke thing. Now, typically, I never mix any type of political stuff with anything else and neither should Harley Davidson. We'll get into that. Uh, you know, I've kind of been sitting back watching, especially working in the Harley Davidson industry, and I've watched a lot of comments, and normally in circumstances like this, I would probably just keep my mouth shut, stay out of it, and uh, really not pay much attention to it. But man, this is directly related to what we do this is directly related to this specific channel if you guys have been watching you know that uh, i worked public safety for 28 years i support our military i support our first responders wholeheartedly support the american flag and uh, the pride that we take in our country and i'm also a die-hard harley davidson loyalist that i ride harley davidson motorcycle like i said i work in the harley davidson industry so this is directly relating to what I talk about on the channel. So I will not express my personal views. We're just going to talk about some objective things in what's going on with this going woke situation. And I've watched a lot of other videos that uh, people have put out. And obviously I'm not copying off of what they're going to do. You'll see because we're going to talk about our own stuff. But... You know, a lot of people, political, news, uh, Cycle Drag put out a, a, a good video that I appreciated. And obviously this is something going on. So really the first part is, what, what are they thinking? Harley Davidson, you know, coming out with some DEI, which is diversion, equity, and inclusion, putting out some DEI policies for their company. And of course, they're saying, well, hey, we got to do things that align with our company. Well, you, mistake number one is you just involved politics in your business, and that's something that you're not supposed to do at all. Politics in, in this size business, a publicly traded company, is a horrible idea. And the funny thing is, is and I kind of scratch my head, Everybody saw what happened to Bud Light. People stopped drinking Bud Light. You go to stores and the beer coolers are completely empty with the exception of Bud Light. And I scratch my head even more on this principle because when Bud Light realized they were in trouble, hey, this is a problem, what did we do? They actually went to Harley Davidson Motor Company and said, hey, you guys need to help us let's put your logo on a Budweiser can so you think that people would start to learn about making these big decisions and how it affects the business I mean Bud Light you know yeah people may be drinking Bud Light again um, it, it is what it is but they have not recovered. They lost money. Budweiser was the number one ranked beer company in the world for the longest time. And now they're at number three. So their decision definitely affected their business. And a lot of people are like, why would they, why would Harley Davidson do something like this? Now, I'm trying to stay objective, okay? It is 2024. Are there people of other lifestyle choices working for Harley Davidson? Absolutely. Are there people of other lifestyle choices who buy and ride Harley Davidson motorcycles? Absolutely. I have some customers of mine, great folks, that are of an alternative lifestyle that have bought a Harley Davidson motorcycle from me. So that's one thing, okay? When you, though, change your company policy and then you put out an email, this is what, you know, is supposed to align with our company, you're missing the boat, bro. Think about some of these people in some of these organizations 
and yes it's some of those letter organizations but some of those people do not stand for the same thing that Harley Davidson has stood for since 1903 Harley Davidson has been an American company and has been about you know Americana freedom the culture that Harley Davidson has you know think about Harley's logos how many American flags do you see on Harley Davidson stuff and some of these people in some of these organizations oppose the United States they oppose the American flag they kneel for the American flag so you literally have just alienated a lot of your customer base and a lot of people have been posting comments on social media that this is brand suicide Harley Davidson is dead they'll never recover uh, you know people are heartbroken about what Harley Davidson has done and I completely completely understand that so a lot of people are like why in the world does Jochen Zeit still have a job as the CEO of the motor company and I don't have an answer for you because it's not my decision to make certainly um, but if you think about it this guy has made no qualms since he came in about trying to raise the price of Harley stock and well I definitely think this decision is not going to help your cause at all when you're trying to raise your stock and make your company more valuable this is going to hurt people have already been voicing their opinions about boycotting Harley Davidson and you know people posted videos or talking about the fact that out at Sturgis the biggest motorcycle rally in the world that people were not at the Harley Davidson tent they were not participating and a cycle drag posted out a good video that I watched and you know it did show that there was not a lot of people at the Harley Davidson tent but they also did show that there was not a lot of people at the Indian tent as well and there were not a lot of people at the downtown you know site at all because a lot of people go to Sturgis and they go to ride you know a lot of people are hanging out at different places like the Buffalo Chip or Full Throttle so who knows truly how objective that is with people not participating so going back to the principle of why is the CEO still working for Harley Davidson Motor Company well as the CEO he reports to the board of directors and people have been reporting that the board of directors some of those folks that sit on that board are affiliated with some of these organizations that Harley Davidson is now trying to change policy to support now listen from my opinion and I try to like I said stay objective with some of these things you're gonna have these people that are gonna work for your company that are in these affected status groups and you know I try to be objective in the fact that like you got somebody who has a disability the Americans with Disabilities Act covers them you know for certain protections in the workplace you have to make certain changes in the workplace because people with a disability work there am I saying that people who are gay or lesbian have a disability no that's not what I'm saying but what I'm saying is companies and businesses do have to make policies and things to protect workers but I think as a general rule most general HR guidelines would protect anybody in an alternative class from workplace harassment and those kinds of things so you know why why are they not firing him well a lot of people support what it is that he's doing you know and there was a memo put out about you know the fact that Harley Davidson is a publicly traded company and they're graded and you have to have so much community involvement and blah 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 I get that however like I said if you haven't learned anything from Bud Light or Tractor Supply I wouldn't probably have gone to the extreme with what you're doing now the other part to this is that I find extremely interesting is you have a lot of people who 
you know, say that they're going to boycott Harley. Like I said, I completely, 100% understand that. I am not happy as a red, white, and blue American that some of these people in some of these organizations, you know, stomp the American flag and kneel on the American flag and have, you know, a differing view on the United States. And Harley Davidson, like I said, has been a very American company since its inception. And I, I, I'm not happy with that. But a lot of people are like, hey, I'm going to throw away my motorcycle. I'm going to debadge my motorcycle. Well, like I said, trying to keep objective with this, I think it's kind of an insane idea that you would just throw away your motorcycle. And I understand the ideology of it. I, I generally do. But think about it, man. If you bought a Harley Davidson motorcycle any time before, like, I don't know, two weeks ago when this stuff came out, Harley Davidson already has your money. If you're like, hey, I'm not going to buy anything from them in the future, that would be a more intelligent statement. But I'm going to throw away my motorcycle. Absolutely crazy an insane thought process. I'm going to debadge my motorcycle so that I don't support Harley Davidson. I don't want to have their logo on my motorcycle and you know, okay, anybody in the motorcycle world will still know what kind of motorcycle you're riding. And like I said, I get the ideology of it. However, some statements that are being made, like I said, I just find very interesting. I find it so interesting that I challenge you. If you're one of those people out there who are just like, hey man, I'm gonna throw away my motorcycle. I don't want it anymore. Um, you know, I just, I'm not gonna support it. So I'm not gonna ride it. I'm just gonna throw it away. If you're one of those people that are gonna throw it away, I publicly challenge you right now on August 13th, which is the day that I'm shooting this video to donate your motorcycle. I will take your motorcycle. I will give you a tax credit through our charitable organization and I will take your motorcycle and I will give it to first responders or veterans who need some wind therapy. I'm sure they would appreciate it. So don't just go throw it in the trash. Donate it. I'll help you out. I'll let you get something back out of it. Use it as a tax write-off. But allow other people to be able to enjoy some wind therapy. You know, people are like, well, hey, I'm not going to buy Harley. I'm going to buy Indian. Bro, that's your decision. You you have a decision just like everybody else. Uh, I kind of equate it to this. When you have states that have helmet laws and you can ride around with no helmet, that's your choice. There's no rule that says you have to ride around with no helmet. So you have a choice. And just like what America stands for, freedom and freedom of choice, you have a choice whether to support the Harley-Davidson Motor Company or not. Now, I find it ironic, too, that when all of these people out in Sturgis are talking about, you know, nobody at Harley-Davidson's tin, and that's a slap in the face, yeah, it is. And Harley should realize this is not a very intelligent business decision, and this is going to hurt. It's not going to sting. This is going to hurt. But when you think about what it is that Sturgis is, it's a motorcycle rally. What's the dominant motorcycle that people rode to Sturgis? Harley-Davidson. I've watched plenty of Sturgis content because I'm trying to plan my trip for next year. I'm taking in as much content as I can. And this is, you know, YouTube stuff from this year. And like I said, what is the dominant motorcycle that people rode to Sturgis? Harley-Davidson. Uh, look at some of the dealerships, man. Black Hills, Harley-Davidson. I've seen video from Black Hills, Harley-Davidson, and there are just a shit ton of people at the dealer for the event. So, if you're going to make the point to Harley-Davidson directly and obviously not go to their tent, I think that's very impactful. But the Harley culture is continuing irregardless of what's going on. And like I said, realistically, man, if you bought a motorcycle previously, I don't care if you paid cash or you financed it, Harley-Davidson already has your money. So giving up your motorcycle or doing things to your motorcycle to take the badges off or whatever, they have your money already. That money is gone. So if you're just doing that stuff, I, I, in my opinion, I think you're just wasting your money. I think the CEO needs to realize he has a fiduciary responsibility to the motor company 
and everybody who is attached financially to the motor company. So that means you have a responsibility to all of your employees, not just your board of directors, but all of your employees, all of your dealerships worldwide, all of your vendors who make things for your product that are strictly in business to make things for Harley Davidson. So when I said this is a, a, a direct reflection on what I do on this channel, it's a direct reflection of what I do for a job. Because it's not just gonna sting for the motor company people and everybody else to be okay. This is gonna be like Harley Davidson, like corporate culture, worldwide, everybody attached to Harley Davidson. And here's a big thing. Why do businesses exist? Yes, to make money. But they exist because customers buy things from them. If you didn't have customers to spend their money on things, you wouldn't exist. You wouldn't make a dime on anything. Why are you not taking into account what responsibility you have to your customers, especially your customer base? Think about it. I'm almost 50 and I've owned several Harley Davidson motorcycles. And I know people who have owned 30, 40 motorcycles. I have a customer at the shop who spent over $600,000 at our dealership strictly on motorcycles. You are forgetting all of these people that you have a responsibility to in operating your business. And this is gonna hurt. So, I'm sure everybody has a difference of opinion and stuff. Like I said, I'm trying to stay pretty objective about it. I am pretty upset about it. However, Am I going to stop riding my Harley Davidson motorcycle? Absolutely not. It's mine. Um, I love my motorcycle. And I understand it's a matter of principle and that may piss some people off, but it is what it is. I love my motorcycle. I've always been a Harley Davidson fan. I'm not gonna change, all right? The product itself hasn't changed. My motorcycle has not changed. And like I said, I understand if you don't want to support the motor company in the future, completely your prerogative, but this is already done. Am I going to take the badges off my motorcycle? No, I'm not going to take the badges off my motorcycle. That's just my opinion and my choice, just like everybody has a choice of whether they want to support, you know, the motor company or not. It's my choice. I'm not going to take my badges off. I had somebody ask me the other day, hey man, what's going to happen to your YouTube channel? Well, I'm still a small YouTube channel, so it uh, wouldn't really have a gigantic impact on me. It's not like I do this full time for my job, but I'm still going to put out content. It's still going to be Harley Davidson centered content, writing content, because that's what I like to do. Might I lose subscribers or people not support the channel? Probably. I mean, that's a that's part of America, man. That's a great part of it. You have freedom of choice. So, everybody has one. I would like to know what you think and what your choice is. Are you going to continue to ride Harley Davidson motorcycles or are you going to switch? Are you going to go to something different like Indian? Um, are you going to debadge your motorcycle? Are you going to give your motorcycle away? What's your thought? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have some objective, normal people conversation about it. This isn't Fox News or CNN or anything like that. This is just literally me, Moto Vlogging, talking about it because I just, I can't bite my tongue anymore on it. So leave a comment, let me know your thought. I would definitely appreciate to see your opinion on it. Another big comment would be, would you not support YouTube channels that provide Harley Davidson content? That's a really good question uh, as well. So as always, guys, ride safe, have fun, enjoy your life, make the most of the time that you have here. We only get uh, one circle around this. Support our military, support our first responders, support causes that uh, raise up the American flag and thank those that allow us to be out riding free and enjoying whatever motorcycle it is you choose to ride. Until next time, we'll catch you later.